What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week two of the preseason as the Jacksonville Jaguars are getting ready to take on the New York Jets. Jaguars had a really tough time in week one of the preseason as they got blown out 28-7 to by the Miami Dolphins. Their defense just looked horrible within the first quarter. I'm really hoping the starters step up better this game. We are going to need better production from them if we are going to have a shot to win any games in the regular season. On top of that, the rookie Matt Scott threw four interceptions in the first preseason game. Now, I don't necessarily blame them all on him. You know, one of them, he was hit as he was throwing the ball and the cornerback happened to be right there. Then there was two interceptions that were thrown while trying to make drives down the field without much time left, so they were kind of forced throws anyway. They were going to have to be forced throws. But still, you know, you don't like seeing four interceptions ever, especially when he didn't get a touchdown. He should have had one, but uh, the receiver just did not make it into the end zone. And then there's another one that was dropped into the end zone. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the stat or the uh, starting lineup for the Jets. They have Geno Smith, Mark Sanchez, running back Goodson, and Chris Ivory. Then they have Powell below him, who's actually a pretty good running back. Tommy Bahannon, Santonio Holmes, Josh Cribbs coming over from the Browns, Stephen Hill, a guy who I like a lot. I think he's going to have a bright future. Then Kellen Winslow at tight end, Jeff Cumberland behind him, DeBrickshaw Ferguson, a great left tackle, Nick Mangold, one of the best centers, Brian Winters, and Austin Howard. Then Muhammad Wilkerson at left end. And then on the right end, they have Sheldon Richardson, one of the best young rookies in the NFL right now. And then Kendrick Ellis behind him and Damon Harrison. Barnes is going to be at the left linebacker. Quentin Copel is a player I like a whole lot out of North Carolina. David Harris is going to be the middle linebacker. And then Calvin Pace at right linebacker. Antonio Cromartie, Kyle Wilson, and D. Milliner are going to be the cornerbacks. A very good young defense here. Antonio Allen at free safety and DeWan Landry. Overall, they have a great young defense. Their offense is where their problems lie. But hopefully, our defense... Our struggling defense can contain their offense, and maybe we can uh, sneak out a win here as we kick it off. Josh Cribbs is going to take this one out of the end zone. A nice little juke move. Takes it up to about the 28-yard line. First and 10. Geno Smith dropping back. Plenty of time. First place throwing a bomb in. Cyprian, Jonathan Cyprian is going to get the interception here. First play of the game. A huge one by the Jaguars making a statement. A little play action here. Matt Scott is getting the start this time. Finds Justin Blackman for an 11-yard reception there. Maurice Jones-Drew on the left side runs up for about a 5-yard game. Matt Scott dropping back on the left side of the field. Finds Blackman again. Another first down. Two catches, 20 yards for him. Maurice Jones-Drew gets stuffed right off the bat there. One-yard loss. Matt Scott dropping back on the left side. Finds Jones-Drew. A huge cut move. He's going down to 10. Five touchdown. Maurice Jones-Drew. What a beautiful cut move. Matt Scott was knocked to the ground on the play. He gets up to see Jones-Drew sell. Celebrating in the end zone, and that is a perfect way for the Jaguars to start this game off. Geno Smith taking back over for the Jets after throwing an interception. That pass is going to be dropped there. Smith dropping back again, finds Kellen Winslow, immediately gets tackled there. Nowhere to go. Third and nine now. Geno Smith dropping back, and Winslow fighting for the first down, and that is a veteran move to pick up those extra yards there when they were not seemingly there. Santonio San Holmes on the right side. Not quite get the first. going to be second inches, but Goodson will pick it up on the very next play. Nice run out on the left side there into Jaguars territory. Goodson again has nowhere to go. Leroy Hill with the stop. Second and ten on the left side. Josh Cribbs wide open. And the Jaguars thought he was going out. They gave up on the play, but he stayed in bounds and picked up more yards. 27-yard reception by Cribbs on the play. Goodson had nowhere to go. Paul Pelusny on the tackle there. Goodson on the left side going for the end zone. Cannot quite get it. It's going to be third and two on the four-yard line. Sanchez dropping back, and he throws the ball away. The Jaguars defense holds strong and contains the Jets to only a field goal. Uh, not a great defensive possession, but the fact that we kind of stopped them in the red zone, I'm happy about there. Second and ten now on the right side. Ebert dropped that first one, and then uh, Tebow completed that one for a three-yard gain. On the right side, Forsett with the 14-yard reception there. Then Forsett's going to get the handoff here going. Picks up about seven on the play. Second and three here. Forsett on the left side will pick up that first down. Tries cutting back inside. Defender right there waiting for him. Nice start for Forsett so far. Tebow. And that one is going to be dropped by Harbor. That is not what we want to see at all. We saw too many drops in week one. Burton making a nice catch there. Too many drops in week one, though. Uh, definitely need to contain that. Harbor catches that one. not going to get enough for the first down, though. So the Jets are taking back over. Chris Ivory cannot escape the defender great tackle there that might have prevented a touchdown Sanchez throwing the ball down the field and a great pass break up there by the Jacksonville defense Cumberland this time has nowhere to go fourth and four one of three for Sanchez no yards and then the first pass is from Tebow is going to be picked off by the Jets below making the play there 
just like that, the Jets have the ball back. Ivory has nowhere to go. About a three-yard gain there. Sanchez dropping back. Pressure's coming down the field. And great defense there, preventing him from making the catch. It's going to be third and, seven, uh, third and seven. Sanchez was dropping back. And a huge sack there by the Jaguars defense. And then uh, over the middle, another interception. This time Antonio Cromartie. I don't know where Tebow was throwing that ball to. There was He just overthrew his receiver. The receiver was open. He just missed the throw. Sanchez now dropping back. And then this one's going to be picked off by Allen Ball. Going down the field. He might have a pick six here across the 50. Down to the 40. The 30. The receiver's trying to catch him. The 20 gets taken down at about the 17-yard line. Allen Ball with a huge play there. Tim Tebow dropping back. Left or on the right side of the field, he completes his pass. About four yard pickup there. Justin for set on the left side, going to the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguars, 14 to three. Huge play there, set up by Allen Ball to make it happen. And then both of our touchdowns are the receiver, or the running backs making receptions out of the backfield. That's what I love to see. Chris Ivory with a nice run. If he had cut to the right, he might have a touchdown there. It's gonna be first and ten for the Jets. Sanchez throws it down the left side of the field and could not complete the pass. Second and ten now. Sanchez dropping back on the right side of the field. Gets about two yards, third and eight. And then this one's gonna be caught by Donnie Nelson, who cannot get the first down. So the Jaguars are just gonna run the ball once and then let the halftime happen. As you can see, 101 passing yards. Oh, again, only 21 rushing yards. The Jaguars really need to step up their running game. It's been really difficult for us, as you see right there. Forsett just got stuffed for a two-yard loss. Tebow dropping back on the right side. Finds Harbor, picks up about seven on the play. Third and five, Tebow dropping back over the middle. And Brown drops the pass, and Bush is going to intercept it. Another drop, this time leading to an interception. Not good by the Jaguars receivers. Mincy making the stop there. Second seven on the right side of the field. Nelson with a huge play there. First and ten for the Jets in the almost in the red zone, right outside. Second and five. Sanchez dropping back, and then Gates will get into the end or the red zone on that one. Huge reception there. First and goal. Ivory going for the end zone gets stuffed. Going to be second and goal here. Ivory on the right side of the field. Roll making the play or Latulier. I'm sorry. Then over the middle, wide open is Zach Sudfield. Like I said, that happens. Similar play. In the first game where the tight end just gets wide open. I don't know if it's a blitz and, blitz and missed coverage. They're going for two here. Sanchez pitches it out to Sudfield again. And Sudfield gets stopped right off the bat. What a huge play by the Jaguars defense. Look at this preventing him from going into the end zone here. You see the little pitch. And then Sudfield's going to try to go. Looks like he's going to get it, but the Jaguars defense holds strong. So just like that, it's not a three-point game. It's a two or not a two-score game, but they can't settle for a field goal should it come down to that. Harbor making the play there. Four seconds stuffed right off the bat. Again, Davis making two big plays there. Then over the right side, he finds Brown for the first down. Huge first down, 17-yard reception there. Justin Forsett, nowhere to go. This rushing offense is struggling. Tim Tebow on the right side finds Forsett. Picks up about eight on the play there. Forsett dropping, or I'm sorry, Tebow dropping back. Looks for Brown. Cannot hold on to the ball. Another drop, just killing me with that. those drops there. Then almost intercepted by the Jaguars as the Jets cannot hold on to the ball. Sanchez dropping back on the right side of the field. Finds, I believe, Curley. With the first down there, Sanchez dropping back. Pressure was coming. He gets the ball away to Curley again. And another first down, 33 yards on two receptions for him. Sanchez is dropping back on the left side of the field. Sudfield picks up another first down, 18 yards on two receptions for him. Sanchez dropping back. Pressure is coming on the right side of the field. He throws in a huge catch there by Donnie Nelson. About a nine-yard gain there, second and one for the Jets. Plenty of time for Sanchez. Finds Curley another first down. Jaguars defense needs to hold strong as the time is ticking away here. Here, Sanchez has pressure coming, and he gets sacked. Latulier with the second sack of the game. A huge play by him there. The uh, cousin of Star Latulier. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Sanchez threw that one, and it was batted down. Third and 16 here. Winslow cannot stay in bounds. Fourth and six. Huge play here. Sanchez on the left side of the field finds Nelson, who gets stopped. What a huge hit by the Jaguars defense. From or to prevent him from getting that first down. Unbelievable play there. And the Jaguars have taken over two minutes, 43 seconds left. Forsett had nowhere to go there. And then after the two-minute warning, Forsett on the right side. And the Jets are going to start calling timeouts. Third and long here. Forsett cuts back inside. It's not going to be able to get it. So the Jets have another shot at this. Sanchez dropping back. 
down the side of the field and Fleming will make the interception a huge play by Fleming and that will put the game away for the Jaguars all they have to do is run the clock out here for set with a nice run on the right side picks up six there second and four uh, for set on the right side again and he runs out of bounds that's a very costly play for the Jaguars however it will not matter as he will fight for the first down there and just like that the Jaguars will start taking these and they will get a win in New York, 14 to nine. I really was kind of nervous coming into this game. The defense really impressed me, though. The offense is still struggling. There's too many interceptions being thrown, and we definitely need to pick up our running game. Our running game has looked absolutely horrible through two weeks of the preseason. However, we did manage to get two scores this time, and they were both our running backs that got the scores. It was just out of place, out of the, or passes out of the backfield. Either way, it's a nice win for the Jaguars here. I'm very happy about it. And then Jamel Fleming is going to get the uh, player of the game after that interception. Let's look at the play of the game here. And it is going to be Matt Scott dropping back where he finds some resources. Look at that cut. That cut was beautiful. He shook him and he runs right into the end zone. That was the first touchdown of the game for the Jaguars. And just like that, 14 to 3, 1 and 1 in the preseason, or 14 to 9, I'm sorry, 1 and 1 in the preseason. Tim Tebow, 10 of 16. Then Matt Scott went 3 of 3, 58 yards and a touchdown. Great game by Matt Scott playing with the starters. Tim Tebow got a touchdown, 10 of 16. He also threw three interceptions, though. Again, I, I can't really blame all of them on him. Um, one of them was definitely his fault. He overthrew the receiver. But then the other one was just dropped by the receiver. Look at those rushing yards, though. That's just not good. We definitely need to figure out a way to get more production out of our running backs there. Clay Harbor, again, had a pretty good game. I do remember one drop he had. I wasn't too happy with that. But uh, Harbor's definitely looking good in case we do tr decide to trade Lewis. So uh, Burton had a 6 in And then look at that, 38-yard reception, or 32-yard reception, I'm sorry, with the touchdown. Then as we look at the drops, you see Harbor, Ebert, Burton, and Brown. All those guys are fighting for roster spots outside of maybe Harbor. So not good showing from the other guys there. Um, but overall, you know, I'm okay. We got the win. That's all that matters. It shows a little promise. shows that this team can win. We're just definitely going to need to make some... Uh, some uh, moves as we move forward. And if you look at this, Roll leading the team in tackles. I just signed him. And then John Latulier, huge game by the rookie. I was very happy about that. You know, he might end up getting those starter minutes. Really impressed with that. Winston guy, nice play, uh, nice game by him. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more of the series, let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff as you look at our interceptions here. I'm very impressed by our defense. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Later.